Today I'm going to show you how to do a if state, a uh, very basic if statement. Uh, it's based on one value, it's going to do, or well, based on what's in one var variable, it's going to do either a cube or a cylinder. So first off we need our variable, which we'll just call var, uh, we'll make it equal to 1. Now, um, The if statement itself is fairly simple. We've got our condition which goes in here. So var equals 1. Now you have to do the double equals, otherwise it'll generate a, a uh, syntax error. If this is true, so if var does equal 1, anything in these brackets will be executed. So we're going to do a cube. Make it a 20 by 20 by 20 cube. Fix that so that's right. You don't have to put an else in there, but depends on what you're doing. Now, if you want to say if var doesn't equal 1, it won't generate the cube. So the condition's false. So the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the expression is false. So that this doesn't get executed. What you can do is put in an else, which will. So if that's that, if that's false, this will get executed here. So I'm going to put in a cylinder. Is our cylinder. So var equals zero. So the expression var equals one is false, so that gets executed. Change that to one, a cube gets generated instead because var equals one. You can also call modules from in here as well so if you've got you know module 1 module 2 module 3 uh, generating different parts of your object uh, you can do that so if you've got a um, uh, the Prusa i2 and i3 scripts were classic examples you you had uh, a whole heap of variables at the top and that allowed you to change the mo change the objects depending on what these variables were. You can also use the if statements to generate more than one different object in an a, in a, in one OpenSCAD file. Uh, say for example you've got a you've got two pieces of a clamp that clamp onto a bit of RHS or a rod or something like that. Or you've got something that splits in half. You can use it to generate either one either one side or the other. 